As the 20th video, we will do about the human eye and ear. You can learn many things about the eye and ear from this video. You can see in this picture the parts of the human eye. There are different functions having for different parts of the eye. They are First one is the serotic layer. Tough white outermost layer of the eye and light do not penetrate to it. And this is the cornea. And this is the coral. Inside the chaotic layer is the choroid and supplies blood to the eye. This is the retina. The light sensitive blood cells and cone cells are located in the retina. This is the aqueous tube, a transparent watery liquid. It is the space between the lens and cone. And this is a transparent biconvex lens that has the ability to change its curvature. Focuses the images on the This is the eye. Controls the amount of light entering the eye. The pupil. The hole in the center of the eye. It allows light to enter and pass through the lens. And this is the cilia muscle, supposed to hold the lens and help to change the curvature. And this is the suspensory ligament. And this is with the humor, the jelly-like substance which fills the sphere cavity of the lens. It helps to maintain the spherical shape of the eye. This is the formula. The sensitive part of the retina where the sharp images are formed. This is the blind spot. The area of the retina where light sensitive cells are not located. So, the light is focused, no vision is possible. This is the optic now. The nerve that connects the eye and the brain and convey the visual stimulus from the retina to the eye. This is the method of passing light rays to the eye. The sequential order of the light rays passing through eye is cornea, aqueous human, pupil, lens with the human to the retina. The eye translates light waves into images. As, as the above picture, you can be seen this. Also, the sequential order of the light rays passing in the eye. Curvature of the eye lens The curvature of the eye lens should be reduced for the distant object, increased for the closer object. You can see in this picture the difference between the structure of the convex and concave lens. The path of light rays passing from two lenses shown in second picture. You can see in the picture the parts of light rays that comes to the eye.
Long size. Patients that suffering from long sight. Long sight it can be corrected with the convex meniscus lens. Short sight. When suffering from this, we cannot be seen far the object, but can be seen near the object some far. It can be corrected by a concave meniscus lens. You can be seen in this picture how to correct the above two diseases with the lenses that have been measured. Binocular vision. Ability of the eye to focus on an object with both eyes by creating a single visual image is called as the binocular vision. Mammals such as gorilla, monkey, human are some of examples. Serious copy vision. Ability to determine the distance of an object is called as the stereoscopic vision. Cataract. It happens due to denaturing of proteins in the eye lens. You can see in this picture. Comparison of healthy eye and eye with cattle. Glaucoma. Glaucoma damages the optic nerve of the eye. Usually, it results due to high blood pressure inside the eye. People having diabetes have a high risk of developing glaucoma. You can see in this picture peripheral vision loss due to glaucoma with comparison with healthy eyes. Eye infection is another disease that goes to eye due to microorganisms. Most of these eye diseases are spread by insects. Rearing of eye is caused because of eye infection. Then we will discuss about how to protect our eyes. Some precautional methods are like this. Do not look at the sun directly. Protect eyes from harmful light. Follow medical advices when using sunglasses. Wear safety glasses when do well be. Avoid watching television or using computers continuously. We learn about the eye. Now we should discuss about the ear also. First we discuss about the parts of the ear. There are three parts ear called external ear, middle ear and inner ear. Now we learn about the ear parts. This is the pin, ear lobe. It directs sound waves towards the auditory canal. This is the external auditory canal. It directs the sound to tympanic membrane. And tympanic membrane vibrates in response to sound 
Bit and Hack Files or the Licenses. Then there is Trio Secrets. Call, Malleus, Inkers and Step. Transmit sound related vibration to the cochlea. This is the use case in Steve. An open loop connected pattern and it controls the pressure on either sides of the tympanic membrane. And then cochlea. The nerve endings of the auditory nerve is connected to the cochlea and it transmits auditory sensors to the auditory nerve. And this is the auditory nerve take auditory sensors to the relevant part of the brain and there are semicircular canals which contribute to maintain the balance of the body. How do we hear? The auditory sensors come to the external auditory canal goes to the tympanic membrane, goes from the ossicles to the cochlea, and goes to the relevant part of the brain. Due to the auditory sensors came to the auditory canal, the eardrum vibrates. After that, we will learn about the ways of protecting ears. Before that, we learn about ear defects, ear deafness and release of hearing some of the diseases caused to the ear. Then after that, we will learn about the ways of protecting ears. Don't put in anything to the ear. Avoid from sinking deepest seas. Avoid from loud noises. Don't use medicines without medical advisors. You can answer these questions in comment box. What are the main parts of a human heart? Mention the functions of them. What are the diseases can be caused to eye? What are the main parts of the ear? What are the ear defects? Mention the measures to protect ear. Thank you for watching our video. Goodbye all!